Hey, collective. Quick energy check. Um, so I've called in the appropriate protection. It is the time this reading is whenever it finds you. Take what resonates, leave the rest for the next person. You know how this goes. Flip flop yourself where you see fit. Be the leaders of your own discernment. I'm channeling what I heard was karmic doorbell. And then spirit said, get up. So I got up, I was going to my tarot room, and I looked at my phone and said, five, five, five. It's 33 right now. It said five, 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 and my percent on my phone was 44%. So you could have an ascending master number 33 or ascending master number 44. Somebody's going through changes. Now changes, when people see the five, 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 they're like, oh my God, what's going on? Ah. Changes could be good. High priestess at the bottom of the deck. So I'm sitting here and I'm trying to make spirit. What's this karmic doorbell? I heard authenticity. Somebody hates how you shine. Something about your gifts and how you manifest really triggers this person. I don't know. Let's see. They don't like your strength. Something about your gifts. Okay triggers this person it makes they can't sleep at night okay sounds like one problem right yeah they because they refuse to heal and they're under judgment okay the end i'm just fucking with y'all 144 as i looked up spirit what is this karmic doorbell what is this person that hates the divine collective how they shine their authenticity why is this triggering this person? Because you're a messenger. The messages you're putting out is triggering this person. <laughs> it's triggering this person. It may be triggering old wounds. That's why they can't sleep at night. Um, it sounds like a dumb problem though, right? If you ask me. I mean, when, you be, when we're being triggered, we should want that to happen. Because that just shows us what we need to work on, right? I mean, that's how I take it. I don't get mad when I see messages from, you know, yeah, I don't get, I, I don't get in this energy. Like, oh shit, I can't stand that terror either. No, why? Thank you for shining the light on something I could not see. I appreciate you. I'm so grateful for you, you know? Somebody could be sending negative energy. My candle wick is like, it just keeps making this noise. Somebody's in just chaotic energy while you're sitting here in strength, high priestess, page of wands, just going about your gifts is triggering this person. The messages you, but like that. We should forever want to be evolving. What, like, why? I, I would never understand that. Yeah, some people just like sitting in their pain, I guess. What do you do? You just let those people be. You just let them be collective. And you continue doing your father's work. Now, this person likes to be in this this negative energy this is just negative energy look at it like it's just negative something about a karmic yeah because you're the empress this person don't like hearing the truth I'm just going to keep it a buck. My left side of my head is hurting. This person knows I have a door open. They know I'm tapped in. They don't like it. But they have no access over here. Archangel Michael, I ask that you place a seal of protection around me. I ask that you lose any war, as many war angels as you see fit on my behalf as I'm delivering this message. To the divine collective, anything negative, toxic, dark, or foul, close those doors. Please and thank you, Archangels. 
This person don't like hearing the truth. The truth hurts this person. It triggers them. Yeah. You could be on some kind of public platform, Empress, High Priestess. Oh my God, I did not just hear that. I'm not going to say that, Spirit. I'm not going to say that. Mm -mm. This person likes to be in this chaotic energy. I don't understand why. <sighs> Let's see why. Because you're authentic. Because you no longer let your shadow... You, you no longer give life to your shadow. You face that shadow. You face those traumas. You face those wounds. You faced it. And you transformed into this high priestess empress strength energy. This person can't look at themselves. They can't look at the, the stuff that they've done that... They, they don't like it. Your sudden wealth, number 11. Sudden wealth. Show us this energy over here. What do we need to see about this energy, Spirit? Why does this person hate how this high priestess shines? Why? This is just a hate, Spirit said. They want to be gifted like you, but they can't. Okay. Well, if you keep surrounding yourself around this negative energy, yeah, it's a thief. They, ooh, I just heard destiny swap. This person wants to swap destinies with you. You can't have that destiny, baby. Yeah, and this person found out that they can't do that, and they're concerned. Now, what? Make this make sense. This could be a baby mother, baby father, somebody you had a kid with. Mm-hmm. Toil and labor. This person's just working, working, working. I feel like you guys have worked on your path too. Like you have, this person needs to understand that they need to put the work in, toil and labor. You can't just sit here and become a high priestess, empress, sudden wealth, strength. You have to put the work in. How do you put the work in? Heal those wounds. So you too can get on your path. I used to always say this to my kids all the time when me being a victim of vape, I never, I, I always said, I'm not going to allow that to make me be a victim. I could sit in the energy of what was me or I could, I could take that negative experience and turn it into something positive. Speak about it so that others are not afraid to speak about it some people are afraid to speak up about what they went through why because no one will believe them because some people say oh you were too promiscuous that's why that happened to you oh you was you know no nobody should be fucking feeling like that That doesn't give nobody the right to, to rape anyone. And I always I always said I would take what I went through and, and help others. I'm so grateful that God even even when I didn't even notice I was when I didn't even know I was an empress, a high priestess, that I was able to mentally think that way. Some people can. Some people end up with PTSD. They don't even want to come outside their home. And I feel sorry. I feel sorry for those people. But at some point in time, yeah, you, you have to want to heal that. You can't allow that situation to, to keep you boggled down, keep you in the Ten of Swords, keep you in the um, Ten of Wands, keep you in the Five of Cups, put you in this toxic energy, always... You know, dreaming about that, stressing about it, worrying about it. 
Something in the distant horizon. What's this distant horizon, Spirit? What is this distant horizon? Show us the cards we need to see. Yeah, you got to put an ending to that. You got to face those those traumas, those fears, those 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 wounds. So yeah, so, okay, Spirit is telling me. Something, that what was keeping you anchored down, you have to let it go. So your ship could sail. That's your ship. See that anchor? This anchor was holding your ship down. You have to release it. Thank you, Spirit. What do we need to see, Divine White Light, Divine Holy Spirit? Yeah, create boundaries. This person is mad because you're gifted. Your gifts. You are the magician. You manifest. You sit in this empress energy. Pay attention to your intuition. You're in your strength. You help some. You help people. The eight of wands with this um, page of wands. That's a messenger online. Somebody's online. Online platform. This platform could be doing very well. Sudden wealth. Or you manifest sudden wealth. You anything you need. Spirit says, it manifests in whoever you are. That's in this good energy. You, you're in ascending, um, you have a master ascending number 44 or 33, okay? Your changes was for the best, this person's changes are not. And this person is triggered by what you're saying. It sounds like a dumb problem. It sounds like a dumb problem. Karmic doorbell, yeah, that's the doorbell, Spirit said. The tower is their doorbell. The tower is their doorbell. Unexpected change. Mm. Mm -hmm. This could be a lover from your past. This person could have had a decision. Between you and a queen of cups. Whoever they chose, whoever they went after, made their life hard. They're weighed down. Whoever this lover is that they chose... Because they went towards this lover. Spirit said that's the truth. This is the truth. This person hates the way you shine. Mm -hmm. Hate is a very low vibrational energy. When you're in that energy, you never manifest good stuff coming to you. Yo, hate will keep you in this tower, devil, ten of wands, ten of swords, five of cups, nine of swords, ten of wands, thief, energy, devil energy. That's a low vibrational energy. In order to manifest, you have to manifest from a loving heart space. Yeah. This person took their free will and made a decision. Just like you guys took your free will and made a decision to clear your energy up. This is somebody from your past. Mm-hmm. So I said that's the truth.
Okay. This could also be a sibling. A family. Whoever this person is, They could have been listening to friends seek some kind of advice from other people. But this is who you are. You're in that really loving, caring, compassionate, understanding energy. You're, you're being guided by your divine ancestors. You allow your divine ancestors to guide you. This person gets guidance from the people in the physical realm. You should never be going out to other people to ask for advice. You should always go within and be your own counsel. Speak to your higher self. Yeah, that's listen to your own gifts, your own wisdom. You see this old lady right here? That's your divine ancestors with all the knowledge. You see those pentacles? That's knowledge. You just got to sit with your higher self and get that knowledge. Yeah. This person relies on people in the 3D. Well, whoever they're asking for advice is guiding them. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. Within her fine energy, Ooh, yeah, because this is who you are, divine collective. You're the magician, Angel Michael is surrounding you. Let's close this message out. I just wanted to get on here and give you guys a quick message. I heard karmic doorbell. Yeah. It's about awakening. It's about awakening. And being open to receive the messages from within you never outside of you not even me you guys should never we all have intuition okay you need to use your own discernment that's what this 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 journey is about it's not about always going to a tarot reader to get messages it's about learning how to strengthen your own intuition so that you can go within to seek that guidance Awakening your gifts within. Okay? So you don't have to listen to the people. How do you awaken your gifts? You meditate. You clear your energy. You surround yourself with people who are high vibrational. Go on Google. Research. What is the spiritual meaning of high vibrational people? What is the meaning? What is the spiritual meaning of low vibrational people? Look it up. Do the research. Whatever this 555 number is, it's going to... This person is going to end up, this person is at the end. We have 10, 10, 10. They're at the end of this. It's becoming too much to bear. They're going to start going within to get those messages. Like, they're going to start checking themselves. 
What about me is attracting these type of people? What about me is allowing me to go through these towers? Me to be in this regret? Me to be in these trauma bonding with people? What about me? Yeah. They're going to invite that help from within. And then they're going to be in gratitude. So whoever you are that's on this public platform, continue doing what you're doing because you're doing exactly what spirit needs you to do. Trigger these people. These people are behaving in karmic ass energy. And whoever you are, you're hella protected by Archangel Michael. This is what I got for you. Mwah. Love and light.